What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 35 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us a table of students who are in the math club and not in the math club, in the literature club and not in the literature club, and it gives us some statements about what percent of students in the math club or not in the math club are or are not in the, the literature club. So in order to do a question like this, We're going to have to know two skills, proportions and number tables using percents, and also how to read a word problem that involves one of these two-way tables. All right, so let's get started with how we're going to read one of these. First thing I see is that this bullet point says, of the students in the math club, and this one says, of the students not in the math club. What that tells me is that I'm going to treat these two columns separately because I'm only worried about the students in the math club for one column and I'm only worried about the students not in the math club for the other column and I know this because I see the word of and of tells us what to focus on. Alright, so with that we'll go ahead and solve this using some ideas of percents. Uh, we'll start with the in the math club part. The question says that of the students in the math club 67% are not in the literature club. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a third row to this and that's gonna be my total. I will not actually need to figure out my total people in the math club and not in the math club, but I will put a total down for my percents and make that 100. So I know that this box plus this box equals my total. I know that something plus 100 equals six, or plus 67 equals 100, which means I know using fact families or equation properties that 100 minus 67 equals this blank. So if this box is 67%, this one has to be 33%. Now at this point, I can go ahead and treat this like a proportion, and I can go ahead and use cross-multiplying to try to solve this. So I'll cross-multiply these and these, and I will say, and I'll do my work over here, that 67 times this variable x equals 16 times 33. So now I figure out that 16 times 33 equals 528. So now I know that 67 times my variable equals 528. If I know that 67 times something equals 528, then I know that 528 divided by 67 equals that same thing. Or I can use properties of equations and do 67 divided by 67 to cancel all of that out, because dividing is the opposite of multiplying. That's why either the fact family trick or the opposites in an equation trick works. So I just need to figure out 528 divided by 67, and it gets me this. Now, this is really close to 8. And since this original 67% was rounded, and we can't have 88 hundredths of a person, I'm going to just go ahead and say that this is 8 people. So I know that x equals 8. Now I come over to the column of students not in the math club, and I use a very similar process. It says that 78% of the students not in the math club are not in the literature club. I know that my total is 100 which means I do 100 minus 78 to figure out what's in this box in terms of percentage. And 100 minus 78 is 22. I'm going to use cross-multiplying again. 4 times 78 equals 22 times y. Four times 78 equals 22 times that number that I don't quite know what it is yet. So 4 times 78 equals 312. So I know that 22 times y equals 312. And since I have an equation where my variable that I'm trying to get by myself is being multiplied by something, I can divide by this number here that I'm multiplying. 22 divided by 22 cancels. And now I just need to find 312 divided by 22. 312 divided by 22 gets me a little more than 14. Once again, this 78% was rounded, which means that this number we got can be rounded as well. And I'm going to round it down to 14. 
So now instead of y, I have 14. And finally, since I'm trying to figure out the value of x plus y, x is 8, y is 14, so x plus y is 8 plus 14, which gives me 22. All that work to do a couple of proportions and get an anticlimactic answer of 22.